Hello there, you are welcome to another episode of To The Point Code. In this episode, we will look at how to set up a Google Developer account and also a Google Service account. So let's get started. First, let's create our Google Developer account. This will give us access to the Google Play Store to publish our applications. First, we need to have a Gmail account. Now we can review the terms and proceed. Now we'll be required to fill in the details here. Now this will be the public name that will be attached to the application on the Play Store. That is, everyone will see that the application was created by the developer name that you put here. Here you can put a second email. And you can put your contact here as well. Now we can go ahead to create the account and pay. Now once we do that, we are redirected here to make a payment of $25. So once we make the payment, our account will be complete and will be redirected to a dashboard. As you can see, I've already made my payment here. Now once we've made the payment successfully, we can move to the dashboard. So now on the dashboard, we see all apps here and we see the option to create our first app. But now, let's go ahead to create our Google service account. Now the Google service account will make it possible for us to upload our application to the Play Store by just running Expo Upload Android on the command line. So if you want to always upload through the interface, you can go ahead to ignore this step. So on the dashboard, we head to settings. So under settings, we head to developer account. Under developer account, we go to API access. Now we don't have any project here, so we can create a new project. Now we go ahead to link the project. Once we've done that, under the service account, we go ahead to create a new service account. Now the first thing we need to do is to visit the Google Cloud Platform. Now once we are here, we create a service account. Now we need to provide a service account name and this can be anything at all. Now we can provide an optional description, otherwise we go ahead to create. Now we grant this service account a role, so we select a role here as service account. Under the service account, we choose service account user. Then we go ahead to continue. Now we can go ahead to finish by clicking done. Now under the actions, we go to manage keys. Now we go ahead to create a new key and we choose the JSON format. Now we see that the key has been generated for us and a JSON file has been stored on our PC. So we need to keep this file securely. Whenever we want to run Expo Upload from the command line, we are going to make use of this file. But note that to be able to take advantage of the upload from the command line, you need to at least manually upload your application to the Play Store once. So this key will be beneficial after you've manually uploaded the application once, which you are going to do in the course of the series. 
Now back to the API access page. We click on done. Now scrolling down the service account, we grant access to our new service account. Now we go ahead to invite user. So now we've been able to successfully set up our Google service account. So in the next episode, we'll create our application on the dashboard and do some information setup. And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Also leave a comment for me in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next episode.